Hello, this is Mike from Dimensional Walking. And today we're going to do a video and we're going to call this one, Our Dreams, it's actually a question, Our Dreams Actually Glimpses into Parallel Universes or Future Events. Let's look at the possibilities, okay? The idea that dreams may be more than just random neural firings serving as glimpses into parallel universe future events has captivated thinkers for centuries while there's no definitive evidence basically telling us that these theories are a hundred percent you know correct uh they are offered these these theories kind of offer intriguing possibilities that have inspired various speculative explanations and here we go Let's look at them. Quantum mechanics and multiverse. Quantum entanglement, this phenomenon suggests that particles can be connected across vast distances, instantly influencing other states. Some argue that our consciousness might be entangled with other versions of ourselves in parallel universes, allowing us to experience their realities through dreams. Okay, parallel universes, many world interpretation of quantum mechanics postulates that every possible outcome of a quantum event exists in a separate universe. Dreams can be, be a way of our consciousness to briefly interact with these alternate realities. Okay, Cog next, cognitive and future events, psychic abilities. Some believe that dreams may be a manifestation of precognition abilities, allowing us to see potential future events, okay? This could be attributed to a heightened state of consciousness during sleep or a connection to the collective unconscious that contains information about the future, okay? Makes sense to me anyways. So, Carl Jung talked about something that he kind of coined the word called synchronicity. And synchronicity, as you probably know that people have followed me, is that's one of my favorite subjects in all the world. Okay? I'm not sure why. Probably because I've had a whole bunch of those type of synchronistic events in my life. And they're all very cool. And I've written about them before, so we're not going to go into them now. So Carl... Uh, Propose that the concept of synchronicity, where meaningful coincidences occur that cannot be explained by causality. Okay. Dreams may be a way to experience these synchronicities and gain insight into future events. Okay. Next, neurological and psychological explanations. Brain activity during sleep, our brains are highly active. Processing information and forming new connections. Okay. Yeah. Sleep is really, really, really important. I don't want to tell you that if you don't know that already, it really is. Get a lot of sleep. It's possible that these uh, neural processes could lead to experiences that feel like glimpses into realities or the future. Okay. Uh, symbolic language. Dreams often use symbols and metaphors to convey meaning. These symbols can be interpreted as representing parallel universe or future events, even if the underlying reality is more mundane. Okay, so symbols, and you gotta remember with symbols, there, ha there doesn't have to be any words. They basically go into you. It's sort of like looking at a crop circle. You know, there is really no writing, there's no text. So, that goes right into your mind and it's your mind interprets and uses as whatever the same thing with dream symbols okay then there's something that uh, uh sigmund buddy sigmund freud it's called wish, wish fulfillment okay and i never heard about this until i did some research so the theory his theory was that dreams are wish fulfillment suggesting that dreams allow us to fill our desires and our anxieties. While this doesn't directly support the idea of parallel universes or future events, it does highlight the symbolic and emotional nature of dreams. Okay, you got that? So there's something called wish fulfillment. You wish for something and then in your dreams it's fulfilled. 
okay? Next is anonymous experiences, anecdotal evidence. And one, of course, is deja vu. The feeling of having experienced something before, even though it's a new situation, has been attributed to dreams and glimpses into the uh, parallel future. And, you know, I know we all have had deja vu. I have had it. Uh, just most people have. Uh, at least most people that I talk to anyways. Uh, and it's always very puzzling and kind of strange. And sometimes kind of scary, actually. Next, premonitions. Many people report having dreams that seem to predict future events. I've had plenty of those, uh, while, and some of them have come true. While these, ex these experiences uh, can be subjected and difficult to verify, they add to a lure that the idea that dreams may offer more than just entertainment. Yes, true. Collective unconscious and archetype types. Union philosophy, Carl Jung again, uh, concept of collective unconsciousness suggests that there is a pool group, a pool of stuff that's out there, experiences knowledge that transcends any individual's consciousness, okay? Collective consciousness. Dreams may tap into this collective consciousness, allowing us to access information from other realms and timelines, okay? I believe in that. Meditation is a way to connect, okay? So archetypes, again, uh, Jung believed that certain universal symbols and patterns known as archetypes appear in dreams and myths across the cultures. These archetypes may be interpreted as represent different aspects of a, a different reality and a potential future, okay? Near-death experiences, shared elements. Many people have been have had these near death experiences. Report experiences that seem to defy conventional explanations, such as out of body experiences, encounters with deceased ones, feelings of love and bliss, peace and bliss. Some argue that these experiences may be glimpsed into other realities or a glimpse into the afterlife. Makes very, makes a lot of sense. Parallel to dreams. And this again is a uh, near-death experience often involve vivid imaginary symbolic experiences similar to dreams. This suggests that there might be shared neurological and psychological mechanism underlying both phenomena. Okay. So there's, there's some really interesting things going on and, and it's again, I always say everything is connected, and this this is a, a point where it's very possible these near near uh, death experiences are connected. Quantum consciousness as quantum phenomena. Some theorists propose that consciousness itself is a quantum phenomena, existing as a wave function that collapses into a particular state when observed. Dreams might be a way of which our consciousness to explore different potential states or realities. Quantum ent uh, entanglement, as we talked about before, or non-locality. As mentioned earlier, quantum entanglement suggests that particles can be connected across vast distances. If consciousness is a quantum phenomenon, which I believe it is, it is possible that it could be entangled with other conscious beings or even parallel universe and a large, uh, allowing dream consciousness to seem to defy conscious uh, conventional explanations. Okay, so quantum entanglement is really an interesting subject. Uh, we could probably talk about that for hours, and, and I think it's I think there's something to it. I really do. Then there's another interesting thing: remote viewing. Okay, well, I have friends that. You know, went to the Inst Monroe Institute and, and learned a lot about remote feeling. And they they claim that it's real. And it's something that can be taught and something that they themselves have used. Consciousness exploration. Remote viewing is a practice which individuals attempt to mentally perceive information about distant places and events. Some argue that their ability might be related to an underlying mechanism that allow allows for dreams and cognitive experiences. So 
you know, I, I didn't have a chance to talk to him about that particular aspect, but uh, I think it's a possibility. So parallel universe and future events. If remote feeling involves accessing uh, information from other realms and timelines, it could provide evidence of the existence of parallel universes and ability to glimpse future events. So, but what they're saying, what we're saying here is that if remote viewing can actually see things in the future and it can be confirmed at a later time, then it's very possible that this could prove the existence of parallel universe. Next, kind of a new phenomenon. It's called brain-computer interfaces, BCIs. This is a kind of a one a person that started that is Elon Musk, as you probably know. So neural activity and consciousness. BCIs measure and interact uh, brain activity, providing insights into neural uh, coordinates of consciousness. As these technologies advance, and they are advancing, they may help us better understand the nature of dreams and the possibilities that they could be influenced by external factors such as parallel universe or future events. Okay? Consciousness exploration. BCIs could be used to explore alternate states of consciousness, including dreams, and to investigate whether these patterns or anomalies suggest the connection to other realities and timelines. Okay? I, it's, I kind of repeated that, okay? But I think it's really important because BCIs, I don't know if I want, I don't want to know if I want to put that on my head and look around in my mind. I don't really know. Who knows? Maybe it'll make it better, smarter. Who knows? So these are all the elements. There's probably more, I don't doubt it, that could make up the possibility of dreams glimpsing into parallel universes and in the future. I think there is a connection. I really, really think there is a connection. So thank you for your attention. Go in peace and in happiness. Okay? We'll see you. Bye-bye.